I'm Dr. Scott Saunders from NaturallyDoctor.com. Today we're going to talk about minerals. Uh, minerals are very important for the body. We need minerals all, of all sorts at all times. Minerals are uh, an integral part of our whole system, uh, the, the way our body functions. For example, uh, calcium is what makes our bones strong. That's a mineral. Uh, magnesium is also important in that. But aside from that, we have to have these minerals constantly in order for our nerves to function and our muscles and everything in our body functions uh, a lot of the time because of minerals. So when we look at a mineral, we say, well, that's important. However, when you're taking a supplement of a mineral, it's important that you have some kind of balance. And there's a good reason for this. A couple of examples. One is calcium. People with osteoporosis are often told they have to take large amounts of calcium. So they'll take one or two grams of calcium a day. And, and that's good, and that's probably about what they need. But if they only take calcium and they don't get any magnesium, they may be deficient in magnesium because the calcium can inhibit your body's ability to absorb magnesium. So then you can end up with other problems because of magnesium. Another example, would be, uh, was shown very clearly in the Nutritional Prevention of Cancer trial. And this was a trial that was done on selenium. Most of the soils in the United States are deficient in selenium. And it was found in a study in China that uh, selenium supplementation would prevent cancer. So what, these, what this group did is they decided to try it in the United States on skin cancer. So. Uh, they gave half of the group 200 micrograms of selenium a day, and the other half got no selenium supplementation at all. And over the period of the trial, after five years, they looked at the difference in results, and they found that those who were taking selenium had a 50% decrease in many different kinds of cancers. However, it didn't help skin cancer. However, what they found was that the people that were taking selenium also had an increase in diabetes. Now, why did that happen? Because selenium inhibits the absorption of chromium, and chromium is a necessary uh, mineral to use your energy properly, and people who don't have enough chromium get diabetes. That's why it's so important to have a balance of minerals when you take them, and not just one large doses of one single individual.